Hey, what's up guys? It's Ran here and today I'm going to be showing you how to commentate on a Mac. So, the very first thing you'll need if you're doing this to commentate on, you know, some video game gameplay, the first thing you'll need is the hardware. So, I'm assuming that you you already have this hardware. Most people will buy the Hapog HD PVR. So, there's that. There are a bunch of other ones that exist. Off the top of my head, I can think of the Black Magic Intensity, then the Black Magic Shuttle, and then for standard definition, uh, there's the Dazzle, DVC 100, and Easy Cap exist too. So there there are a bunch of them out there. I personally use the Hapog HDPVR just because I like the quality. The quality on the HDPVR is incredible. So, after you get your hardware, you're going to need your software. Now, if you're commentating on a Mac, there are two different softwares that you can use to record with the HD PVR. The first one is really, really simple. It's called, it's called um, HD PVR Capture. Now, as you can see here, there's not a lot to this program. Uh, this was made by a Hapage employee because the HD PVR doesn't have any software for Mac so you can buy this um, I really wouldn't recommend it because the second piece of software that you can use is a lot better but right now I'll just show you how to record with this you go to the video enco encoder and then you change this to a constant bitrate and you go to the audio encoder and you perform post-processing and you change this to two-channel AC3 really simple now if you wanna you know watch your recording as you're recording you turn this on I mean it's really kinda of pointless but whatever now that's that really simple software not a lot to it the next piece of software is the one that I recommend. This is the only other one that will let you use the HD PVR, and it's the much, much better one. It's way more complex, but it's definitely way more worth it. So, this program is called ITV, and this program is special for many reasons. Number one, I will show you right now. So, this program is actually really cool because it lets me it lets me record and then I can look over and I can see it lets me record and then it lets me see my recording on my computer as you can see right now I'm moving my dashboard this is what my dashboard looks like for anyone who cared um, but something else that's really cool about this software and really the selling point is the fact that you can go back in time on software that you haven't even recorded yet so as you can see my software is standing still but if I click here I'm back up moving my dashboard around and you can see it lets me go anywhere from point on and the really really cool thing about it is that it keeps recording as I'm moving time around so as you can see here we're back up and we're back up to my dashboard and you can see me moving it around again really cool software definitely recommended um, so once you have a clip recorded I'll just record a quick clip in ITV and you record you know give it a few seconds uh, you go seven seconds is fine alright you stop recording and you export the video to your desktop really quick really good software definitely recommended and it'll even let you optimize a video for your iPod or your iPad if you were one of those people dumb enough to buy an iPad so once you're done with ITV you can go ahead and exit out you got your clip you know you know recorded whatever your Call of Duty gameplay now I use iMovie to commentate on Mac really really simple but also really really good um, so the first thing you want to do in iMovie is go to file 
import and go to movies now you choose the clip but before I do this I just want to show you guys one thing some of you guys criticize me because I seem to have a new problem every week now, I'm not lying to you these are all gameplays that I have saved these are all Call of Duty gameplays and uh, as you can see I can commentate on these videos whenever I want the problem is is I won't be able to upload them because of my shitty internet so I'm not recording or I'm not uploading because I can't not because I don't want to I, I really really do want to upload a bunch of videos so anyway you go back and you choose your video before you import note one thing unclick optimize video this is very important and just in case click copy file instead of move file that way it'll create a brand new file with all your editing and everything done to it so you go ahead and import and it it shouldn't take that long for me because it's like a 13 second clip or whatever or a 7 second clip and here it is right here now you take this clip and you move it over to the project area really simple and from here you can you know change color and all that increase the speed and you can add effects to it if you want really really simple but it's also really really one of the more advanced simple editing softwares and to commentate all you do is hit the O key or hit the voiceover button over here and you click on the clip and what it'll do is as you can see now the red bar is moving and this shows me that my video is recording and you can see right here you can hear the sound of my voice uh, as I talk you can see it's moving up and down so there you go now my voice is right here let me hit play just so you can, guys can see that it is recorded see now the red bar is moving and this shows me that alright so as you can see the clip is now recorded the next thing you want to do is go to share and you export using QuickTime not export using movie or export movie and what you want to do is you export using movie to QuickTime and since uh since iMovie doesn't export in HD, I will show you how to do that. You go to settings and change the compression type to MPEG-4 video. Restrict to 6400 per second and then change the frame rate to current and keyframes to 24. And jack the quality all the way up to best because you do want the best kind of quality. Then filter everything stays the same these are just little like little um, uh, effects that you can add to the video not really important at all and then change the size to 1280 720 unclick preserve aspect ratio and unclick this too if these are marked down and then change the size to 1280 720 and really important uh, this is if this is widescreen right here if you want to do that, but it'll upload in widescreen anyway, so it's not important. Uh, you you can let me note this: you can record in 1080, and if you want to upload in 1080, you have to change it to 1080. If you're using an HD PVR, you're most likely recording in 720p, but the HD PVR can also record 1080i. So if you record in 1080 you have to change it to 1080 to get 1080 video and then sound settings is not really changing anything just uh, render quality setting to best and target bitrate to 128 and after that you save and it'll export your video and once it's done exporting you can upload to YouTube so if you've watched this video thanks for watching I know it's long but this is how I, I commentate personally and I upload to YouTube. So thanks for watching and I'll be back really, really, really soon with a new gameplay video. So please, if you, if this, if you found this helpful, like the video and please don't forget to subscribe if you want to.
and thanks for watching. Ran96, out.